Hey everyone, I'm Abby Sharp. Welcome to Abby's Kitchen. And I'm back with another What I Eat in a Day YouTuber review. I get so many requests when it comes to different YouTubers' videos to review. And one that has come up quite a lot is Unnatural Vegan. Now I have watched a bunch of her videos over the past month or so, and it has felt like a breath of fresh air amidst all of the Freely drama. And P.S. If you're not already subscribed, you definitely are going to want to do that right now because I have some serious, crazy, controversial Freely information coming up on the channel soon. So one of the things that I love about Unnatural Vegan is that she doesn't claim to be a nutrition professional or a registered dietitian. She actually says that in her videos, and she points people towards some really great nutrition information and resources in the description for her videos. So this is how you serve your audience really well and I personally really appreciate it. So without further ado, let's take a look at her diet. And I had this mm -hmm. delicious oatmeal made of all of this stuff, oats and soy milk and peanut butter and walnuts and coconut and chia seeds and vanilla and cinnamon and uh, banana. Have so I love a good oatmeal bowl in the morning, and this is a super healthy way to start the day. Some really great energizing carbs with fiber. We've got some fruit in there. We've got some healthy fats from the, the peanut butter and the almonds and the chia seeds and the coconut. I love this. She also gives a lot of great little kind of fast meal hacks and prep tips. So I really appreciate that nice little breakfast there. Let's check out the macros on the oatmeal. 26 grams of fat, 72.5 grams of carbs, and 16.3 grams of protein. Moving on, I had a salad. What do you know? I just mentioned salad. Interesting. Uh, so I had some romaine, some lentils, already cooked lentils, of course, uh, some roasted chickpeas, very delicious, super crisp, so good, some tomato, some of this smart bacon, two slices of that, that's really yummy, and a little bit of dr dressing. The garlic dressing, which is really delicious. I love the so simple, salad, salad's great. I love that there's lots of vegetables in there. She's got some protein from chickpeas and lentils. There's probably some protein in that kind of like soy based bacon or bacon or whatever, and some fats from the dressing. And I like that she's keeping it really simple. I mean, I find a lot of YouTubers and bloggers um, ha like show these really elaborate meals for every meal of the day. And the reality is most of us don't really eat that way all the time because it would take up our entire day just prepping our meals for Instagram. So I like that she's just throwing together a really simple salad, probably with all the things that she's got in the fridge. So I love that. Let's look at the macros on her lunch. 14.3 grams of fat, 36 grams of carbs, and 14.7 grams of protein. The stuff and a little extra salt because it wasn't quite salty enough for me. And that's it. Next, I had this yummy yogurt. This is just the uh, the silk. Is it silk? Yeah, I think it's silk. Uh, plain, plain soy yogurt with a little bit of trail mix. Just one of the trail mixes that they sell at the store, and just a tiny bit of maple syrup mixed in with the with the yogurt. So again, I love that easy peasy snack. We've got that hunger crushing combination of fiber, protein, and fats in there. She's got dried fruit, she's got nuts, she's got yogurt. And while most kind of vegan based yogurts I find don't have very much protein compared to normal dairy yogurt, especially like a Greek yogurt, this one actually's got like 11 grams per cup. So it's pretty good. Let's look at the macros on her snack. 17.5 grams of fat, 26.2 grams of carbs, and 15.5 grams of protein. Chickpeas, it's very similar to the thing that I had in my last What I Ate Today, uh, but this one is carrot and broccoli and potato and chickpeas, and the, the main difference, I guess, is that I roasted the chickpeas separately. That makes them super, super crunchy and delicious. I didn't cook them first, I just soaked them for several hours. So that sounds delish. I am obsessed with crispy chickpeas, so I concur with her. They are delicious. And that looks like a really well-balanced vegan meal. I mean, she's got lots of different vegetables in there. She's got some whole grains. Uh, she's got some fat from the vinaigrette. She's got her protein from the crispy chickpeas. Basically everything you want in one bowl. 
and I'm like really digging her style in general when it comes to meal preparation. It all seems like really easy and simple and doable and accessible, um, not overly expensive. There's not any crazy ingredients that you have to go like searching all over the city for. So this seems like something that even like a single person who just wants to eat really well could easily pull off on a weeknight. Let's check out the macros on dinner. 11 grams of fat, three grams of carbs, and 16 grams of protein. Maybe a spicy yogurt sauce or something, or kind of a curry yogurt sauce. You could make this more into a curry type thing, or, or just like an olive oil vinaigrette. There's just, there's so many options. I bring that up because I think it's easy. I mean, I know that I do this, where you kind of get caught up thinking that you have to make all these different recipes and find these different recipes that you want. But sometimes it's just as simple as taking something that you like, just like a bare bones, healthy, like green bean grain kind of bowl and just adding a different dressing. I love that. I love that she's making it so easy for people to kind of make it their own. She's kind of giving like a formula as in like, have your whole grains, have your vegetables, have your bean or legume or your, your, your plant-based protein in there, which is ultimately what us as registered dietitians do promote you to do. Like we want to talk about the plate method where like half of your plate should be veggies, a quarter your whole grains, a quarter your protein. So I love this. I love that she's just giving recommendations in terms of like, switch up the grains, switch up the veggies, switch up the dressing, and you've got a new dish. Doesn't need to be so complicated. You don't need to kind of dream up these elaborate recipes and menus every single night of the week. So I can totally see why she has such an amazing following. Add was some pineapple. They had pineapple, pretty good price, 177 each. That's not bad for a good size. You know, sometimes they're a dollar, but then they're like tiny, tiny little pineapple. So it's like, okay, that's, so I love pineapple. I put it in my breakfast, I put it in my smoothies, I have it in my oatmeal, it's such a great fruit. Um, so I love that she's finishing her day off with a fruit. Very, very healthy, of course. Um, but if she wanted to bulk that up and add some kind of protein or fat, whether it's with yogurt, um, uh, that would also be a really great way to just make it a little bit more satiating. Dry and disgusting, I'm very sad, but I've been so lucky with clementines and pineapple lately, so that's nice. And that is it. Thank you so much, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. So this is key right here. I love that she puts on the screen that she's taking supplements, her multivitamin, her vitamin D, her choline. I mean, this is stuff that a lot of vegan YouTubers don't talk about. They don't, they don't talk about it or maybe they're not even taking it. And I think that's a real misjustice because a lot of the followers out there who are seeing this and seeing their diet and they're not thinking that maybe they need to add a supplement into their diet to fill some of those nutritional gaps. So I love that she is kind of talking a little bit about her supplement regime as well. Okay, so here is what I love about this channel. First of all, it is so easy and accessible. I find that a lot of vegan YouTubers out there create these recipes or these kind of these menus that are so elaborate and there's so many ingredients and like huge quantities of ingredients that you would feel like overwhelmed trying to get started just eating a little bit more plant-based. All of her recipes seem simple, easy, affordable, accessible. You don't have to go to a specialty grocery store just to find any of these ingredients. All of these would be at your local farmer's market or your local grocery store. So thank you, thank you, thank you, a natural vegan, for making it seem like we can all get on board with this plant-based thing. Number two, I feel like she is a very intuitive, normal eater, and that is rare on the internet these days. I feel like when I watch her, you know, she's the first to admit that some days are not necessarily always going to be perfect, healthy eating days, and that is totally okay. That's what normal, healthy, balanced, intuitive, mindful eating is all about. Like I always say, it's all about just listening to your body and trusting that it knows exactly what you need. And I think that she does a really good job at communicating that. And number three, no bullshit claims. This woman is not claiming that eating her way is going to lead to weight loss, clear your skin, cure your cancer, boost your metabolism, etc. Now, I've watched a bunch of videos and she doesn't push any kind of like expensive vegan products or juice cleanses or any kind of crazy stuff like that. She's also the first to suggest that, you know, you seek out resources like healthcare providers and registered dietitians and things like that. So this is a must when it comes to the vegan beauty 
to space because she's not claiming she is necessarily an expert. She's just sharing her own unique vegan journey. And I think that's awesome. So let's tally up the totals for the day. She's getting 71.9 grams of fat, 246.5 grams of carbs, and 62.5 grams of protein. That amounts to about 34% from fat, 53% from carbs, and 13% from protein. So taking into consideration her calories and her macronutrient distribution, I would say she's got a really well-balanced diet. And in conjunction, of course, with her multivitamin, she's gonna get all of the nutrients she needs for a healthy vegan diet. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of my What I Eat In A Day YouTuber review of Unnatural Vegan. If you did, be sure to give it the thumbs up. Leave me a comment below with some YouTubers who you'd like me to review. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time on Abby's Kitchen. Bye.